David Backus scored his first NHL goal in December of 2006. He became a fan favorite when the Blues were one of the worst teams in the league. He was the first star on Wednesday, but not because of what he did that night, but because of what he did for his career. It was a decade of excellence here in St. Louis. We got together before the game, and David is our Cardo Buick Sunday Conversation. And it's our pleasure to welcome to the program David Backus. David, I can remember like it was yesterday. In San Jose, after game six, you were in tears. You guys had just lost a grueling series, and you had beaten the Blackhawks in seven. You really thought that that was going to be the team to win it all, didn't you? I did. We finally broke through that barrier that seemed to keep us uh, down. We ran into so many good teams in the second round, and uh, you know we finally got into that conference final, and we were rolling. And um, yeah, I thought that was the year, and um, unfortunately, it wasn't. And and thus the interview with the the tears and all the emotions pouring out of me. David, I know you enjoyed all your time here in St. Louis, but the most fun you ever had, I get the impression, was playing with T.J. Oshie. Yeah, Oshie's uh, a nonstop energy guy that he made me look so good on so many nights. And, uh, you know, him and Alex Steen both, they were just nonstop work ethic and uh, high hockey IQ. Describe in a couple of sentences what it was like to be on the ice on a Saturday night packed house at the Enterprise Center. Oh, that was, that was the best. Uh, the fans giving us uh, tons of energy, knowing that they would cheer as loud for a big hit as they would for a goal and just wanting to give them, you know, a win first and foremost, but a great show and to, you know, pummel our opposition into submission. Uh, goosebumps right now thinking about it. Let me get to the Stanley Cup Finals. Sammy Blay hits you first, then you hit him back in a real brutal way, and all of a sudden, David Backus, one of our most popular athletes in St. Louis, becomes almost public enemy number one. Well, uh, you know, in, in that series, it was, uh, you know, I love the city of St. Louis and I love the Blues, but uh, they were standing between me and, and living a different one of my dreams to hoist that cup, and so, uh, you know, Petro and I talked before that series. We're, we're really good friends, but we got to put that aside and do what we need to do to, to try to help our teams. And we'll, we'll, you know, pick up the pieces when it's all said and done. And, uh, you know, that's one of those instances there where we had to lay it on the line. And, uh, you know, it was Sammy Blay instead of Petro. I might've probably got more equity out of it, having that be Petro than, than Sammy Blay, but, uh, you know, so be it. And, you know, that's a beautiful part about the game where you go to battle and then you can have a mutual respect when it's all said and done. So when you are officially retired, whether it's the end of this season or next season, give me an idea on what's next. I've always thought if David Backus wanted to get into television, he could have a job like that, but you may be too smart for TV. Oh, I, <clears throat> I appreciate that praise, but uh, I don't know. I, we've, Kelly and I have talked so much about what comes next, what's our next chapter, and Truthfully, we've ran the gamut of, you know, maybe I stay home and get more time with the kids and catch up on some uh, missed moments in their young lives. And, and Kelly, who's had to sacrifice so much so that I could chase my dreams and play hockey, uh, you know, across the country can chase some of her dreams that she's had to put by the wayside for so many years, uh, all the way to, do I go back to law school and chase that old dream that I had uh, when I was back in school and try to do something philanthropic with a, a law degree. So uh, to roll that all into one big messy ball, we have no clue. We don't know where it is. We don't know what it looks like. We're really living in the moment. Let's say you come back to the Enterprise Center 10 years from now for a reunion and a son asks the father, who is David Backus? What would you want the dad to say? If it's something along the lines of, you know, led by example and left everything out there every night, um, you know, add on what you wish, but uh, those were my core principles of team first and left everything out on the ice every single shift. And if I didn't get a job done, it certainly wasn't for lack of effort or lack of desire or drive. Mm -hmm. Might've been for lack of skill, but um, so be it. And uh, I can be proud of that. 